If we have faith as the grain of a mustard seed, I know we can make it. Yes, we can. We can. Yes, we can. Revolution started in the coffee shop. Raise your hand if since election day you've had trouble sleeping, been drinking too much, yes. gained Trump 10 pounds. It's actually something called that. Trump 10 pounds, lost weight, felt hopeless. I'm going to diagnose with post Trump stress disorder. We have the power to bring a new day to our community and to our world. Let's keep doing it. Not a very political person. I'm just an ordinary person. Um, I vote but I never really felt the need to get more involved in that because it was all taken care of, right? We had Obama, he was taking care of business. And we finally came to the conclusion that we gotta do something. There's no more sitting on the sidelines. We have to take action, we have to do something, and it has to happen right now. And don't just throw the covers over your head and say, you know, four years is gonna go by really quick because I don't think it's going to. Is our Petaluma Day Labor Initiative. Sadly, it's me down on the corner with the men in the morning. Now. They are so tolerant. And I said to them, I'm really worried. I'm scared. And one of the men put his arm around me and said, now you know what we feel like. By Susan B. Anthony is organize, agitate, and educate. I think we're really in danger. And it's up to us to protect our rights. And if we don't, we're in serious trouble. Um, having just come from the march the women's march in dc i know what claustrophobia feels like because uh, like all politicians our city council responds to pressure uh, we were in mike thompson's office on monday with 51 volunteers and 2600 signatures in support of the affordable care act we've added 2000 sonoma county volunteers in 10 days we are pressuring Daryl Issa in Southern California. Scummy your man doesn't exist in this earth, I tell you. If a Republican votes to appeal the Affordable Care Act, they need to feel the pressure. Everything that is evil has taken the White House. Everything that is good has taken the streets. Here in California, we have a very strong, progressive, democratic uh, movement, basically. Uh, the, the state party is in, inclined to building a wall against Trump. There may even be a single-payer health care movement that takes place in California and hopefully will lead the nation in that regard. We're really concerned with our new EPA head uh, who doesn't believe in climate change, um, which is terrifying. It should, we should be more engaged, especially the people who you elect to public office. You should hear back from them when you call them, when you send them an email, when you text them. If you don't hear back from them, you should be keeping a list about that. Your vote means so much more in this town than it does when it's diluted by, you know, all those people who voted for Trump. Act globally, think globally. And you know what, we should sign up to take people's <clears throat> kids if it gets yeah. to that. But anyhow. Oh. He doesn't have us. And uh, he's going to bring the best of the United States. And look around. We are the best. And now, with this uh, uh, wave of negativity, uh, the hope, it's kind of fading for so many families. Who can they, who they, they decide to leave their kids with in case they get deported? for whatever crazy law that will come uh, from this man and, and his blindness. We're gonna do whatever we can to, uh, together, you know, and because we are the light in the middle of this darkness. Putting 
ourselves in a place that we're not usually, um, where we feel com don't usually feel comfortable. It's phoning our senators, it's phoning our city council people, it's, you know, it's, it's actually picking up the phone and, you know, we, we can do it. And the more you do it, the easier it gets. When we're on this journey is have fun.